Welcome back to another episode of Songs Explained, where today I get to explain my song, Back From The Dead. It's a song that I've been working really hard on. I finally finished the mixing and mastering and the production. Now it's just getting ready for distribution. And today I want to explain this song because I'm excited to share about this to you. Is This song also talks about like some very deep personal meanings to me. In my own personal spiritual awakening that I went back in 2017 and at the end of this video I'm gonna have a small promo clip of what the song is the first 30 seconds or so to give you an idea of what this song is gonna look like so stick around to the end of the video to see that promo now let's dive into this so lyrically this song is about my own personal spiritual awakening experience that I had back in 2017 and this song talking in a metaphoric sense i use a lot of references to zombies in this one which is new for me and it's also implementing an old passion that i used to do which is playing a lots of call of duty zombies to be specific where i talk a lot about like zombies in this like how uh, how being spiritually dead in the time of 2017 before i took the red pill and became spiritually awakened and being awakened to experiences that were really uncomfortable and finding a lot of uncomfortable truths where in that time once i took that red pill i ended up finding out gradually over a course of the year of 2018 that i found out that i had a lot of changes that i had to make that were really hard to make leaving a job that was providing me all the security that I was looking for at that time and that was scary to look at. I ended up having to find out that I was in a toxic marriage with the wrong person. End up having to make the difficult changes to do that to leave that relationship too which again was scary because it was at that time I was looking for love at that time and end up finding out that it just wasn't real love and for me I was like I didn't know if I was ever going to find love again but I've also learned over the course of these few years that I've had to learn to find happiness within myself with or without love in my life and this is where the core of the song becomes from is from going within I ended up finding out a whole lot more of a treasure house within my own self and when I got in touch with that that gave me the new attitude of feeling like that I've come back from the dead, which is where the song Back From The Dead comes from. And this song talks really in depth of, of going within and activating your own, getting in touch with your own true authentic nature and learning to find that happiness, peace, love, and joy <clears throat> within you, <clears throat> within you instead of of trying to look for it outwards and looking for outwards which is a land of living dead which is what I use as a reference in this song and for and for me looking for within and letting your own light shine from within you then you find lasting happiness joy and peace and all the higher vibrational experience emotions that you want to experience and when you get in touch with that then you then it talks about like in the chorus that repeats is is when you get in touch with that person inside you you come back from the dead and then you know that everything is within you it's not outwards in the land of the living dead i'm using that reference a lot because because it really talks about this in this song and finding it within you where you're able to find the lasting happiness not looking for it outward where it could easily just die off or get eaten eaten alive by zombies probably not realistically but, but it's a metaphoric sense so that's what it talks about so this song had that personal meaning for me on that end now we hop into the music part for the music is the music is a very fast paced it's a, has a lot of string work it's got choir work it's got electronic work the electronic works that you saw in invincible and the choir work and synth work and classical work that you saw in, in monster and what's cool about this song is this is the very first song where i've actually had a, a male singer sing this song and this is the lead singer from a band 
and called Through Dreams and Distance. His name is Rob, and he did an awesome job with singing this song, where he did a combination of singing, he's done screaming and shouting in a really crowd-shouting kind of way. And this is the very first song where I also have screaming vocals in this, because in the past, I've always had female singers who've always wanted to sing my songs. I wonder why. Anyway, I, this is the first time I've had a guy sing my song, and it's exciting to see that, and I'm, a, I'm excited to see how it works out with them. And also I had, like in Monster, I had Andre Simani come back and do keyboards for this song, for the backgrounds, like the classical and the electronic work for this song, and he did an amazing job with this. And I, this time, in my last two songs, I had... a program drums through Steven Slate drums. I used those for my last two songs. What's interesting about this song is I used a live drummer named Francisco Borelli, which is a classically trained jazz drummer, and he did an amazing job doing this song. A jazz drummer actually doing this song as a live drummer, and he also crushed this song on a lot of levels. So this is really cool that he managed to do this for me. Thank you guys. He's, I hope to do more work with you if you're watching this video. I'll leave a link to their music in the description box below. And this concludes Back From The Dead Explained. And as promised, at the end of this video, I'm going to leave a piece of this song to give you an idea of what's going to come next week. So enjoy the clip and keep rocking and peace.